What's up, guys? I'm Mitchhauser321 here playing Goonies, and we are on to the fifth Goonie, uh, which is from where we were before in this scuba area. You need to return to the very first zone of the game, the door to the. Wait, no, that's wrong. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I, I know that's wrong. To the section with the two platforms, which is near the start, but it's um above that. Uh, near where we got the first Goonie. To the left, there's a door, and that leads us to the next section. Leads us to the lava section, I believe. Which is not very hard. At this point, we have so much health, we can just tank most of the damage, but they will hurt you. Uh, the enemies in the next section, they'll do a lot of damage. I'll show you where we're going. It's, it's to the left of the first game. Um, so... <sighs> One thing I was mentioning before in the last videos, this is Goonies 2, and I always wondered as a kid where Goonies 1 was. Well, they never made a Goonies 1 NES game. They just only made the second one on the arcade. I was explaining it earlier, but I forgot to mention that they didn't make a Goonies 1. That's why it's always so, been so weird to me. I use a bomb or something. I just noticed when you use a bomb in the ice cavern, um, uh, a bunch of icicles fall, which was pretty cool. Extra thing that they added in there. So we're gonna go all the way to the right here, and you know that first sec, the very first door we came in at. That's where we're going. Okay, that's definitely one of the. Um, this is a warp zone. It takes us back to. You know, to do it correctly, you have to go in and press down. That was one of the Mandy Brothers. <laughs> that enemy was a. What are, the, what are those guys called? See, I just never watched the Goonies that much. The, the Paman. There's something. Some Italian type name. That's a bird. Obviously. That's. I don't know. That's a cricket. That looks like a cricket to me. <laughs> I know it's not, but. Uh, the. The tell. Vorditellis? That's not it. Something like that. That's one of them right there. They look just like a human. Okay, make their little darts here. They're kind of annoying. So this is the section with the two platforms to the down to the right there. That's why I always that's how I always remember it. And then um up above us is where we got the first goonie, but instead of going to the room, we're gonna go to the left. It's gonna take us to the uh, fifth goonie. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. So good. That's a bird. That's a crow, actually. It's a black bird. A black bird! It's a beetle. It's a beetle song. Okay. So this, if I'm correct, this should take us to the lava zone. If I'm correct, well, I have to use a hammer and a ladder here. This room it can be pretty confusing. I get I get turned around a little bit in this, in, in this room a lot. Trying to figure out how to get out. So we started, there was like an old man which was a portal, and then we went up above him, now we're here. It's there, and then that takes you to the lava. So go, uh, the trick to this section is to go as fast as you can, because enemies seem to spawn like a half second after you're in the room, and if you can get through these sections without them even spawning, you're better off. Alright, but it's, this is a really linear section. Right there's, the, we're gonna pat, well, I'm gonna make a pit stop here, I guess. This is the a hidden Konami there. And he's gonna fill us up so we can make it through this next section. But it's fortunately you have to take a little bit of damage. You don't have to if you time it correctly. But see I lost a full clip of health there. So keep going, keep going. This room has the uh uh the fifth Goonie, right? Yeah, the fifth Goonie. <laughs> I have to think about it. <laughs> like which Goonie are we on? You use hammer and ladder. And there he is. Got him. So you don't need to be worried about losing any health between the Konami man in there because he'll just fill you up. <laughs> the next section, this is what I call like a tank and spank section. So yeah, oh god. I realize I died there. And I didn't spawn with as much health, which sucks. Oh well. Okay, so I think I got enough to do it. Hopefully. Use the jump shoes here. Oh, they came in handy once. Huh. I don't remember dying here much. 
Like I said, this can be the hardest. If I had full health, I would have I would have just bashed it. Looking more like a nub. Trying to get through all this. See, I'm not worried though because you have unlimited continues. And all you have to do is farm up keys in order to get uh, any further. So you go over to the right here, and this leads us to. Where's the chicken stew? This to is it the six goonie already? I can't remember. Over here. Let me see. Go through the door. You do. Use it the portal. Okay. Yes. This is the we're on to the six goonie. And it's like the lo login. <laughs> Why sure I can't speak? To the log cabin uh, home of the uh, of the main enemies, which I can't re <laughs> I can remember their name right now. Let me look at this really quick. This will tell me. There we go. The Fratellis. Fratellis. Look, there's Mama Fratelli right there in her henchman. So I died. Um, I'm gonna use a continue here. No big deal. Limited continues. You start in the top left section of this area. And we are headed um, to get the magic locator. Is right there? Yeah. Wait, no. Yeah, there's a magic locator. Whatever it gives if we don't really need it. This is just a portal door to the next section. Where we get a hammer ladder. Basically, we're headed to the, the, um, the sixth goonie. This guy... <laughs> Ooh, I got a key from him. That's probably why I killed that guy. Honestly, I'd just skip him. I'd just run right through him at this point. Didn't bother killing him. It's not worth it. I mean... So far, if you've been watching this whole thing, you know this game isn't that hard. So you go down this set of ladder, set of stairs, and to the left is a room over here. Now this section right up here, where I'm about to go through, is a great section to farm. If you die in this area, these two snakes just keep, or cricket guys, keep respawning over and over again, and they don't really give you much trouble. It's a great section to spawn items and stuff. So use the ladder, or hammer first, hammer the ground. Obviously, I'm watching a recorded video, so I'm doing this as I'm talking, but uh, you use hammer to go through there. Not that it matters, is what I'm saying. And you use your diving suit, and then you have to be careful here. I've died here before. I know it sounds stupid, but do not press any other buttons besides A when you do this. Okay, don't worry about if an enemy comes and damages you. Just fucking keep going, okay? Because if you, if you don't, you'll die really quick. Then you go up here. Boom. Six goon. Boom. Hidden behind a wall. Boom. Not even hidden that hard. Boom. Locked in a cage. Apparently we can't wait. Uh. <laughs> I've taken too long. Not a second too late. And we have eight energy bars. Yeah, so we'll eight. Uh. And now we're going to go... We're going to get two items which you, um... There's a whole like section that we're going to now where it's just filled with stuff that you, you don't necessarily need. It has an extra life, it has a bulletproof vest, and come on me man for health, I think. Yeah. We're, I'm just going to show you them because they're not very far from here and it's, it doesn't take that much to do it. And after that we're on to the final green. I think that'll be like the last section. Look, there's a knight and everything. They did a good job on the sprites to be honest. Most of them... I mean, they look like what they were going for. Some of them are a little bit... Like, I don't know what the fuck that, what, it, what it is. Oh, yeah. Maybe I won't show you this section. I will show you how to farm here. Because what I need is a bomb to show you uh, the bulletproof vest. And, uh... Um, the extra, get the extra life. So, I was farming. This is where I farm. So, I did get back and show it. It's good. I got to show it. I don't think I get any and I give up. 
because after you do it for a while and you don't get a drop, you're like, eh, whatever. It's not even worth it. The one room has the bolt vest in it and you don't even need to bomb it. Like, what the heck is this? I get bombs all, all day when I do this shit. So yeah, the reason why I choose these enemies is because they do very little damage to you. They do like a third of a bar. The Goonies are back. Oh, there we go. We go. Wait. I swear that was a bomb. I don't see any in my inventory. What the fudge kicks? So I put on the jump shoes there. Go back to the sprint shoes. Go over here. This is like where I think Mama Fratelli is. This is supposed to be her. That's supposed to be Mama Fratelli. I don't know if that even matters, but it's supposed to be her. Glasses or hammer, one or the other. And then... There it is. Ladder. Then glasses. Then key, and then you get the bulletproof vest. Boom! Reduces the amount of damage you take. That's gonna be it for this section. We'll see you in the final section where we catch the final goonie.